Okay, you created an export and that was available. Now let's go to the current VM settings. We will enable the second adapter. Choose the host only adapter that you created during the virtual box setup. And with that, we start the VM. As usual, I'm going to show a fast forwarded boot. It might be slower in your environment. Once you land up with the login screen, login as the Oracle user. And one of the first things we would be doing here is to configure the second adapter that we added. And this we will not use DHCP. Instead, we will manually set the IP address. I'm using the same subnet as the VirtualBox host adapter. But the last three digits will be 186.18c on Linux 6. Set the network mask and the network gateway as specified here. Give the root privilege password and with which we are done with this network card setup. You can check an if config to see whether that IP address is listed as part of the second network interface card. You may want to check whether you're able to ping from your Windows OS. So open a command prompt and give the IP address of the VM that we just allocated. Next, take the root session into your VM terminal. And we have to give a properly defined host name. So edit the host file and specify the IP address we allocated on the VirtualBox host network interface and give the host name as aura 18 c dot local domain that's the domain and also uh, just the host name as a mapping that defines the host name now we can try to ping from the linux vm because this is where we have the host name specified and see if we can reach it in case you had the software downloaded using the firefox browser in the vm then you don't need to do this but in case you downloaded the Oracle software from your Windows desktop, use WinSCP, give the IP address login, and on the left hand side is your Windows laptop, navigate that. On the right hand side is the path to the VM, and copy the file of the zip of the Oracle database software. Now, we are going to do the OS setup. There's a RPM that Oracle provides, which you can install by using this command. This basically takes care of creating the users, setting the parameters at the Linux level to configure the OS ready for an Oracle database. That's what we have got here. We might want to check what is the Linux minimum kernel version. So we can see here we have a particular kernel 124. If we don't have the minimum support, then your database software will not get installed. But otherwise, it's always a good practice to do a yum update. This will basically update the latest RPMs and packages that are available for the Oracle Linux. This will take a while. We need to create some directories for the Oracle software to be installed. So use these commands given to create a directory as the root user and give the privileges to the Oracle user and copy the software from the downloads directory under the Oracle downloads into this directory that you just created. So I have already done it. You can use the applications menu system file browser to get this file browser interface. So from the Oracle downloads path, copy the file into this directory that you created. With that, we complete this step. 